Welcome to the garden shop Dalai. In this video I want to show you one of our range of plant foods that we have available on the website and it's a superphosphate. So superphosphate then is a, a straight fertilizer which has one active ingredient which is phosphorus which is very important in plants. It's probably the second most essential plant nutrient uh, that plants require and it's very important for a number of reasons. I'll just firstly show you the packaging that you're getting. It comes in this plastic resealable uh, tub. It has a quantity of one kg. Okay, and I'll just show you the top of it then. You can see the lid here is, as I said, resealable. So you can just open it up and have a look at what you get inside. Okay, so it comes in a powder form. It can actually be diluted down just by adding water to make a liquid feed. Uh, then we'll just look at the, the back then again, it's the same as the front, it just says root builder and again the phosphorus or superphosphate is really all about root growth and root development and stimulating root growth. So uh, on the base then we can actually just look at the specifications and it gives on the bottom here uh, recommended uses, it also says uh, general uh, plant feeding and also gives an analysis and breakdown of uh, the nutrient content of this actual feed. So you'll see that it has no nitrogen, it has 17.5% uh, phosphorus and it has zero uh, potassium. So 75% is phosphorus, the rest is just a carrier for the phosphorus to uh, allow it to enter into the plant roots and to sit in the soil. So that's it really. Um, so the uses then, as I said, this has really uh, got three main uses in plants. It's a very essential nutrient and probably the most, second most important nutrient for plants after nitrogen. Uh, so it's important for three ways. Uh, firstly, it's very important for root growth, root development, root stimulation. It's also very important for cell growth uh, and um, cell division. And then uh, thirdly, it's very important for growth of young seedlings. And that's obviously important in terms of uh, trying to get young plants to establish better. A product like this will really encourage uh, great establishment in young seedlings. So uh, now that we know what it's for, then the uses of it, in general uses would be, uh, it can firstly be used to promote root development and root stimulation for soft and hardwood cuttings. It can also be used to promote root growth in bare root plants. Uh, then you could also maybe use it in your vegetable garden. If you have root crops such as carrots and parsnips, you can maybe add uh, a scattering of this to your soil just to boost root growth and get longer, better uh, roots, uh, such as carrots and parsnips. And then it can also be used in uh, other uh, hanging baskets or the likes, uh, just to encourage root growth and stimulate uh, growth in general. And uh, also then if you wanted to use it for transplants, if you were to imagine be transplanting something like cabbage or broccoli out into your vegetable garden, adding a product like superphosphate will help to establish the seedlings to grow faster and therefore outcompete the weeds that are in your vegetable garden. So um, that's it really, it has many advantages. Uh, firstly, we just recommend that if you're going to use a product like this, that you could use it in conjunction with another product that we have on the website, which is the soil test kit. Now the soil test kit tests for soil pH, which is the soil acidity, and it also tests for the uh, three most important nutrients that you'll find in a plant in, in the soil. That would be nitrogen, uh, phosphorus here and potassium. So if you were to do a soil test maybe on your uh, vegetable plot and it came back that here in the middle we have phosphorus, if you, it came back that your phosphorus was deficient or lacking then it would be recommended that you add a certain amount of the superphosphate to your soil just to bring the uh, soil level back up to its suitable condition and create optimum growing conditions. So that's the soil test kit. So that's really um, one of the great benefits of superphosphate is that it's a straight fertilizer. It doesn't have a nitrogen in it. Therefore, you can add this to your soil just to bring up the phosphorus levels without increasing nitrogen levels as well. Therefore, you're getting the benefit of great root growth without unnecessary foliage growth. So that's one of the great products. It's also fast acting. It comes in this handy resealable tub and uh, it has other uses as well. So uh, that's it really. Application rates then, uh, if you're going to put it out onto your vegetable plot or into your flower beds, you, we recommend about 100 grams per square meter, and that would be uh, three handfuls of the products per square meter. Then another application would be something like what we have here, which is our 14-inch uh, hanging basket. So what we have here is roughly 
a, a 10 litre a capacity hanging basket. Now if you were to add superphosphate to the soil mix, I would recommend about 30 grams, which is just a small handful of uh, superphosphate to your soil and mix it through thoroughly with the 10 litres of compost and therefore you'll get a, a good balance of uh, nutrients and great stimulation of roots and also increase the growth rate of the young plants that will be in the hanging basket. So uh, that's a really, that's the, the product again. With, super, with phosphate, if you're not sure whether your plants are deficient in, the, in phosphate, you might notice the colour of your foliage just turn, gen, generally turns a slight bluish or purplish and you'll also note, it, note a stunted growth of your plants. And if you notice something like that, then it's likely that your soil is deficient in phosphorus and that you would need a product like this. So that's it really, that's the product. It's super phosphate and it's a product available on the garden shop today.